It's not looking good, is it? Love that bad days. <laughs> so are you. <laughs> Name's Carson, but we'll get to that. You and I are on the same side, by the way. Right. Puny God. They don't get a lawyer. You don't need a lawyer. But you do need my help. <laughs> Alright, hold on one second. You seem to have forgotten in all this excitement that you were in some serious shit. Look around your mind. Ooh. This is it. This is the rest of your life. Sitting in a fucking room. Mm. We'll play it out. You're facing multiple life sentences. Terrorism, conspiracy, more murders than we could even count. So you don't want to talk? Okay. Let me tell you what I know. <laughs> Ryan Marks. SAS Nomad Squadron. Zero. This is Nomad 2 1. I've reached the compound. Going in. Over. Nomad 2 1. This is Zero. Negative. Wait for close air support. Over. Zero. I'm the one on the ground. I'm telling you, we need to extract now. Negative. Hold position. Over. Hello, Nomad 2-1. This is Zero. You are green. On to go. Over. Roger that. What is up with the whole? Oh, it's doing that while. Weapon check. Weapon good. How do I? Grab my weapon chest. Ammo good. Hold the start button to. Yeah, that's already centered.
Oh, he had a grenade. Hmm. Come on. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Into the Down. No, the funny part is I'm just going off freaking random shots. Wait, isn't it? Alright, um. I can pick that lock. Just need to use my tools. Um close. Sounds like I'm in the right place. I told you, God. Very mean. Reinforced. Looks like I'm going in loud. You're Prepare for breach. Prime the charge. Nope. Good marks. Yeah. I thought I was gonna have to rescue myself. Oh, fair enough. I'll be off in jail. <laughs> you fucker, come on. Get these up. <sighs> Go on. Pick the lock.
how does yeah I do okay. give me a combat estimation root in I had eyes on seven to ten x-rays with longs and five x-rays with shorts best estimate okay go comms check roger that weapon check I'm all good weapon good safety off always firm move It's gonna be a fucking hornet's nest out there, mate. Stand by. Stand by. Stand by. Go. Listen, get in. Get in. Go. Barrier, brace yourself. You should get one. If you ever get your license back. <laughs> Fuck off. Oh. oh, these fuckers aren't going to give up without fight, mate. Zero. This is Nomad 2-1. Message. Over. Nomad 2-1. This is Zero. Send message. Zero. Nomad 2-1. The cat is in the cradle. Over. Nomad 2-1. Zero. Roger. Acknowledge. Send the big man our regards. Over. Roger that. Over. He messes me. <laughs> just being polite. Roger that. Out. Call back to base. It doesn't sound good, does it? No.
Ryan. Have a seat. Got some bad news, I'm afraid. Unfortunately, your dad died. Your dad died. Your dad died. Your dad died. Heart attack. Over really quickly. There's nothing anyone could have done. I'm really sorry, mate. Flight's arranged, so get your bags packed. You're going back to London. It's a new car. Yeah, got it a couple of months back. It's all right, Nip. Yeah, it's very subtle. Fuck off. <laughs> You're still wearing a horrible ring. Yeah, of course. Where's yours? I lost it. Ooh, Mum's not going to be happy with you. Oh, you'll never guess who I saw last week. Who? Gary Moss. <laughs> Gary with a small leg. <laughs> <laughs> Looks even smaller than that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I used to get a right hump about that. <laughs> In fairness, you did say it looked like uh, great with a face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> what the fuck is that? I quit smoking. And carbs. Carbs? Yeah, do you know an apple was basically one big carb? <laughs> so I've given up fruit. Well, what about beer? Our beer's not fruit, it's grain. <laughs> Here, try it. No. To yourself. So how you been? Yeah, you know me. And how's mum doing? She just lost her husband. How do you think she's doing? Yeah. <laughs> It was fucking sudden, right? Don't think it's hit her yet. Don't think it's hit any of us. Mm. Look, he was no angel, but just thought he'd make it through to the end. No one big enough to take him on. Things are running smoothly. Then this. Still, better than a bullet in the head, I suppose. Heart attack doesn't sound too fun. Yeah. Probably right. Goes to show though, doesn't it? Go oh, what? Oh, don't fuck it, there's something profound. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see you, mate. Yeah. Good to see you too. Quick. <laughs> Get this over with. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. I'm ready. Come on then. I won't ask you about the funeral. We're no stranger to those. <sighs> I just want to know what happened afterwards. It's easy to say a guy comes back from the army. Goes nuts, right? Seen too much, can't handle it, case closed. But we both know that's bullshit. I just want to know 
What went down there? What's your story? You should write a book. My life as a massive dickhead. I might give you a chapter. If you would tell me something. Okay, I'll tell you something. Go fuck yourself. I mean, who's in charge here? <laughs> I'll speak to them. Ryan. I am ex-Delta. We both know the same things. I'm here to help. You need to help me. Oh, ex-Delta does pop psychology. You gonna ask me what I dreamt about last night? Sure. What'd you dream about last night, Ryan? Well, I was doing a speech naked and all my teeth fell out. What do you think that means? This is a conversation. I'm not a cop. I'm not here to go after your family business. In fact, I don't give a shit about any of that. I know you're not a cop because you've got CIA written all over you. Delta, really? Come on. It's just a fucking desk jockey. Oh, is that what you think? Yeah, it is. Intel, analysis, mission reports will only take you so far. But if you want the reality of a tactical situation, you need to be on the ground. We both know that. Ground truth. Exactly. How many made it from your unit selection? Five. Plus you? Including me. They don't always take the best guy, but they always take the right guy. Wow. Was there a cliche to I failed mine. Dog ate my homework. <laughs> <sighs> All right, Delta Force. You've convinced me. We can talk. Okay. Good. No problem, man. I'll take care of it. Thanks, Clint. Oh, it's good to have you back. How are you? Terrible. You? Oh, you know. Wonderful service. Flowers were lovely. Your dad would have hated it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Might be a good time to start thinking about yourself. Get out of this. You could go on a cruise, get a caravan. <laughs> caravan? I can't just leave. People counting on me. What about Nick and Michelle? Mum, Nick's 34 years old. I think it'd be all right. <laughs> you know what I mean. I'm serious. Maybe you should step away. Dad wouldn't want you worrying about the business. You know what your dad would have wanted? Everyone to get out so we could watch the snooker. Mm. He was so proud of you. <laughs> you know that, don't you? I know. God, you look just like him. He wasn't much younger than you when we met. When was that? 1937. He was a lot funnier than you, though. <laughs> What's going on? Anne, stay behind me. Get in! They're all over us. All right, all right. Ah. Put the weapons down. Now! Oh, Clint, do as she says. Ah. Don't move. Listen, love, you don't know who the fuck you're dealing with. Just put the gun. You fuck! Okay, it's clear! He moved. Anne, do you know I am? 
Yeah, of course you do. For those of you that don't, my name is Anthony Sharp. I'm a businessman. And I all good businessmen. I like to seek out new opportunities. For fuck's sake. I've just buried my husband. Yeah, I know. It's a terrible thing. But like I said, new opportunities. The thing is, it's very difficult getting you all together. And my offer is for the whole family. Yeah, can we hurry this up, Tony? I've got a date tonight. You open your fucking mouth again, and I'm gonna put a bullet through her face. What is it you want? What do I want? Your operation, all of it. Networks, assets. Oh, come on, I don't need to tell you how this works. You've done it plenty of times yourselves. You just keep on doing what you're doing. Think of it as a merger. Apart from you, you can fuck off back to the army. And I know what you're thinking. You're tempted to push back, but I strongly advise against that. I don't want this to be a hostile takeover. I'm sure you don't. I've got a lot of respect for you, Anne. You're a clever woman. You'll do the right thing. Right. Well, I think I'm just about done here. This is my brother Keach. He is the absolute best with numbers. And he's gonna make sure that this transition runs smoothly. Right. I need ledgers, receipts, contact books, diaries, you name it. I want to know when you last saw your fucking proctologist. Come on, chop chop. Someone clear that up. The Sharp Brothers. They've done well for themselves. I get why they want your family business. I mean, it's the best network in Europe, but... It's an area they have zero expertise in. Do you have a history with Tony? Yeah. We knew him. He had his thing, we had ours. But he's never a problem. So why now? He saw an opportunity. An opportunity? Mm. On the day of your dad's funeral? That guy's a total asshole. We've done worse. You're right. We have. Oh. <laughs> there was one thing we've all been wondering. What's that? How the fuck did you get out of there? <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, this accountancy lark is hard fucking going. What a prick. I'm gonna do him. Nick. Might try some of this scotch. Celebrate our new union. <laughs> Who's gonna pour it for me? How about one of the Marx brothers? Here. Which one's Groucho? <laughs> <laughs> now that's actually pretty good. Yeah. Did you hear that rhyme? Our surname's Marx. And we're brothers, so that makes us the Marx brothers. <laughs> Did you just think of that, kid? <laughs> or you, Annie? Go on, have a little drink with me. <laughs> we could do shots. <laughs> shots. <laughs> Won't be doing any shots with that. Eh? <laughs> Safety's on. Eh? No, it ain't. <laughs> Marx family in action. Talk about a well-oiled machine. That's some serious gangster shit right there. So, what comes next? That was clean. I would retrench, talk to my people, make sure I could trust them. Gather resources, head somewhere to plan the counterattack. Somewhere safe. Got some gangster shit of your own there, Carson. I thought we'd never shut up. Right, we need to get out. Fire escape. Nothing. That was honestly clean. Okay, keep me updated. Sharp's got to be somewhere. Still no sign then. Why is she wearing that awful headset? She's starting a cab for them or something. <laughs> <sighs> what have we got? Tony's been approaching some of our people. Most of them just told him to fuck off. Someone's helped him. Find out who. Safe houses? All good. Warehouse is secure. Scott's on his way to the courtyard now. He'll take care of the rest of it. And Clint. 
Someone needs to tell Sarah and the kids. Who in it? Make sure they're looked after. That American bird. What do we know? She's military. Professional. No wonder you shit yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. No one knows anything about her. It's weird. You can't... Hold on. Go ahead. We need to talk about what we do next. We give him a slap in terms of fucking behave. He's just trying it on because Dad's gone. No, he's gone way too far for that. It's not gonna start an all-out war. He's not big enough. Well, he clearly thinks he is big enough. We need to push back hard or we're finished. Tony's gotta go. So, I took the got first brains out. Me neither. We know where Tony's gonna be tonight. Private party. Nobody's gonna him. love you. Great, You're you might as well be on it. fucking Mars. Yeah, he's surrounded by his best people. Then the last thing you'd expect is me turning up. No way, Ryan. You are keeping well out of this. It could work. No, it's madness. Could you do it? I can do it. Did you hear what I just said? You are not getting involved. But I'm already involved. I could be in and out of there before anyone knows what's happened. I deal with situations and people a lot heavier than Tony Sharp. Ryan's right. What the fuck are you thinking? Tony won't stop here. We know that. Mum, Ryan's trained for this. Anyone else, you wouldn't think twice. But it isn't anyone else, is it, Nicholas? It's your brother. Okay, okay, fine. At least we know where Tony will be tonight. We can keep an eye where he goes afterwards and then pick our moment. Why risk waiting? If we've got a chance to take him down, we should do it. All right. But the first sign of trouble, Ryan, we get you out of there. Of course. What weapons we got? Let's have a look. Follow me. Dad's first safe house. <sighs> Haven't been in here since I was a kid. Don't think we need this place again. Good job we kept it, though, eh? Hey. Yeah. Come on. Let's go and shoot some guns.
radio contact. We'll go and find you an ear. When you're ready, head to the casino. I'll see you there. I think I'm gonna need some explosives. I'll see what I can do. You obviously didn't hit him hard enough. Roger that. Fuck! Yours? I said my controller. One of my new controllers. Freaking the light just went out on it as soon as it dropped, so I was scared. <sighs> no, my, my sister gave me a fucking shit talking to. About all this and what she's going through and this, this, and that. Fucking. No offense, but you're just like Amy. You get told certain things and then you guys get hematized so easily. Up or down, Cage? To change your mind so easily. Amy had that done before Such many floor. times. Whatever you do, I just want you happy, so. Honestly, I'm trying to be fucking happy, but clearly, no, like, honestly, you and I want to say maybe two fucking others understand that shit. If 
found it. Room 53. And shutting down power. Cameras are offline. Time to go. Yeah, well, unfortunately, my family's shitty like that. Yeah, I know. Well, actually, believe it or not, either which way if Kitty or me told her, freaking she's probably not even gonna fucking care. You mean? Yep. Yep, good. Careful. Press the red button. Okay, it's on. Nice one. Now get out. Okay, I'm heading to the car. Right? Okay, be careful. <laughs> Only like it's done by the book. Then why let Keats run the place? Slide the yeah. bastard. Maybe. Uh, he's not she's, she's, she's she shouldn't be like there. that. She would choice. Not hers. Yeah, I know that. Don't believe everything you say, because my family gives people shit about that. Okay, placing the C4. Now the detonator. Detonator in place. Red button to activate. Activated. Needs a good spread of C4 around the room. Oh, trust me, you don't gotta tell me that. Where does... Is it really? No, I didn't think so. I know what you mean. Trust me, you don't gotta tell me. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Trust me, I know. Like I said, you don't gotta tell me.
No, you're not. It's just the fact that you're trying to make me understand, and I know. Where the hell am I going from here? <sighs> Fucking, I don't want to deal with this shit, but... Freaking, I guess I'm gonna go for one more fucking fuck up, and we'll see from fucking there. Cause you know what? All the shit that I've been fucking dealing with for the past goddamn month, I guarantee she's gonna fuck up once more. And you know what? I'm calling it fucking quits. I don't fucking care what my sister can fucking convince me of at that point. Cause you know what? Fucking, I already tried. Yep. Yep. Fuck me. Look what I found. Oh, oh. Oh. My sister doesn't understand that one yet. Okay, get this, get this, 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 this was really fucking funny to me, okay, get this. Apparently, this is really funny, is that you were too clingy, but wait, 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 I told Kitty to cling to me, and yet she's still not clinging enough. Is what I told Summer. Oh, wait, even better. E even better, get this one. Is the fact that she told us after we got done doing something is that we smelled too bad. And apparently I don't, that kitty doesn't smell as bad after we do stuff. Okay, why the fuck do you... Okay, I get it, we smell. But why the fuck do you care? That's none of your business. You never freaking hear me complaining. Oh, hey, yeah, you smell like fucking rotten fish. I'll stomp you, fucking flat. Uh, you never freaking hear me complaining about how she smells. I think the point that she. I think the fact of all the crap that she's basically saying is that I should at least give Kitty one more shot instead of just dropping it. Which is basically what I'm going to be doing because at that point, everybody can just shut the fuck up about it. And at that point, if she fucks up, I mean, you know what? There you go. There's her fuck up. She had her shot. You know what? Fuck it. All right, Keech. Remember me. No, I have a oh, shit. I have a bunch of answers. That would technically be her second at this point. Really? Get someone on five. He's trying to kill me. Shoot him! Shoot him! 
Actually, I'm kind of surprised that doesn't make you happy. Got it. How the fuck you you with you? Trust me, I'm trying to do everything to make me happy too. You know what? It don't always work. Wow, I can't believe I freaking hit that. He's catching up! Oh god. Alright, alright. Where's Tony? Say again. I don't know. I'm just his brother. He never tells me anything. Bullshit. I swear I don't know. Don't be Keach. Listen, I I barely see him these days. He spends all his time with his you little friend. prick. You better run. Boom. <laughs> Say again. Say again. I have no idea. I haven't gotten any shit from anybody else. If it is deserved. Ain't gonna know till you find out. <laughs> never said I was, never said I wasn't. Like I said, basically right now, I'm just basically waiting for her to fuck up one more time. How do I explain this? Okay. Basically. Hmm. Honestly, how the fuck am I supposed to word this right? Because you know what? Either which way I say it, it sounds wrong. Or if like I think of a certain way of saying it, it still could sound wrong. Oh. 
In a sense, yeah. Get me some fucking reinforcements. There's a little trick now. Get your arm out here. As bad as it is, yeah, that's one of the many reasons. I pick be happy all the time because you know what? There ain't nothing fucking else. Um, honestly, for her, I'm not sure. Time to blow this. I just gotta say, you don't fuck around. In for a penny. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. Tony threatens you on the day of your dad's funeral. You decide no deal. Yeah. So now you're in a war.